Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be upgrading the RAM in this 13 inch uh, late 2008 aluminium MacBook um, from its stock configuration which is 2 gig of DDR3 to uh, 4 gig of DDR3. Um, it's currently running, uh, running Mountain Lion um, and basically the 9400M is uh, the chipset that this this MacBook belongs to and it shares memory with th the system memory and 2 gig is the minimum for Mountain Lion and uh, it just it slows everything down a little bit uh, because essentially you're running on 1.75 gigs and in this day and age I I'd say in the OS 10 world at least 3 gig is like the minimum you can get by with and uh, 4 gig of DDR3 as well which is really nice I've never had DDR3 in a Mac before um, 4 gig of DDR3 will just make this thing absolutely fly so the first thing I'm going to do is Turn it, uh, turn it down, uh, close it up, and uh, turn it off, and then I'll be right back with you guys. So here we are. This is the bottom of uh, the MacBook. I don't know. If, uh, let me just check the shot. Move that over a little bit. That's a little bit better. Um, these MacBooks are genius, I think, and they're like the compromise between unibody design and upgradability is just absolutely great. Um, you flip this little latch up. Off comes this sort of metal plate. There's your battery and your hard drive um, this will just pop out and the hard drive will just pop out I'll do this all off camera but uh, I'm just basically just overviewing everything um, and then you've got four screws there they just come and then the whole back panel lifts off then and then you've got your fan uh, RAM everything then so uh, it, it's a really really nice design and it doesn't get any better than this I mean just look at the Retina MacBook Pros now you can't get into them at all without taking the whole screen off I believe which is quite ridiculous these you got everything within arms reach and y you could honestly just be a five-year-old child and you would know how to get into one of these and upgrade this part if you're not told what to do so um i like speed up time now and we'll get all of this all the guts of the um, the macbook out So here's the battery. Uh, there's three screws to do there, there, and there on the actual casing. Remember, I, I was trying to pull it out with this down, <laughs> so you have to have that lift up as well, obviously. And um, believe it or not, guys, if you if you're looking into buying one of these second hand, this battery has a thousand cycles on it, and it still lasts three hours while web surfing. I don't know what they put into these things, but they are just so durable. It is out of this world. Okay, and there comes uh, the bottom panel, and wow, a lot of dust has picked up in there already. Um, I was, yeah, I was doing that all by eye. If you see me sort of like spaz out every now and again, it's because I'm doing this by eye. And the last time I opened this up was when I uh, originally got it. And it's crazy how much dust builds up in such a short amount of time, um, especially in the fan as well. So I may as well give this a clean while I'm in here. Um, you don't need to rip the hardware out. There's one screw, two screw, three screw, screw. So uh, four screw, and then the battery tears out, and then there's four. Uh, screws on the top and as you can see you're into the MacBook and there is uh, your RAM so I'm gonna go grab the new sticks now because I left them downstairs and um, I'll be back with you guys okay so I got them ready uh, so let's take out the two gigs that we have in currently it's really really simple one stick and two stick if I can get my fat fingers to go in there Very similar to uh, how the PowerBook G4s, I remember having to put a screwdriver or something down under to just pop pop it out because it's a, it can get a little bit stubborn from time to time. Okay, so that was an absolute bastard to get out, but uh, they're finally out now, and here are our new sticks. Uh, four gigs in total, two two gig sticks of uh, 1066 uh, DDR3 uh, SD RAM. So, 
What, I'm going to fail miserably now doing this on camera? <laughs> I am as well. Maybe you should try putting it in the right way around, Niall. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Simplest job in the world. And I'm screwing it up. But there we go. Both of the ram sticks are in. And then just do the reverse of what we did a minute ago. And uh, Bob's your uncle, basically. So I'm going to put this all back together. I'm going to give it a little bit of a clean as well. And um, let's see if the 4 gig of RAM is actually recognised. Okay, so uh, here she is. She's all put back together. And uh, let's boot her up. I won't have to speed up time either because uh, it's got the Seagate Momentous XT drive, uh, which is like a hybrid drive, and it boots up within 30 seconds, if that. So... For any of you wondering as well, I, if you have watched the last few videos, I uh, do not regret keeping this Mac at all. Um, it's just such a nicer machine. I mean, I did say I wasn't a fan of this keyboard when I originally got it, but it's grown on me. It really, really has, and it's really, really nice. It's almost like a glossy variant of the Chiclet keyboard. I'm currently using the, the Pro keyboard from the iMac G3 right now, but uh, yeah, this is about as good if not better than the desktop variant in my opinion now so let's go into about this Mac and there we go we don't have autofocus on this camera so I do apologize but you can see there 4 gig is installed 2 gigs and 2 gigs so that's a successful upgrade and um, well straight away you can tell by the speed up time uh, speed up time boot up time it's a uh, much quicker at booting stuff up, so um, that's one improvement already. So that's it. That's the RAM upgrade for the MacBook. Um, the next video will be a little tour of this machine. Um, I just want to give you a little sneak preview. Look at the size of it. It's absolutely tiny, and um, yeah, I've been playing any game I throw at it on it. It's a pretty incredible little computer. So it, there'll be a little hardware tour uh, next week. Uh, just show me showing you around this uh, this computer, and yeah, I'm loving it at the moment. Along with this, which just lives there, it's a great little setup, and I'm really, really, really pleased with it. So I hope you enjoyed this little video, guys. Um, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.